Hello, Vanessa. How are you today? Can you turn your uh, microphone on, Vanessa? Please. Oscar. ¿Cómo estamos, Oscar? Bien, bien. Okay. Listo. Gusto saludarlo. Estamos para servirle. Ok. Okay, how are you, Madeline? Hello. How are you, teacher? I'm just fine. Thanks for asking. How about you? I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready for my class. Okay, very good that you're ready. Okay, today we're going to have an exciting class. Okay. Exciting, yes, always. Okay, I very like good. Your class. I like your class. 
Okay, thank you. I review, I review the video. In the, I review the video. Yes. yes. Okay, remember that I uploaded this afternoon, I uploaded a, a question, okay? About product testing. Okay, uh, what? Question. Uh -huh. what, what method, what product testing method do you use when you buy a product? Okay, and you explain why. Don't forget to give your opinion, okay? Hello, Vanessa. How are Hi, you? Hi, how are you? I'm fine. I'm okay, and you? Vanessa, fine. I saw Thanks. you in the internet. Thanks for asking. Uh-huh. I saw Vanessa in internet uh, this day. Okay. Really? I saw the picture, yes. The okay. Yeah, the you are... Your your picture is in the video. <laughs> My <laughs> picture is famous. So now you are famous, famous Vanessa. Famous. You're famous, Vanessa. You are famous <laughs> now. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Uh huh. So now everybody knows Vanessa in the picture, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what happened yesterday, teacher? Well, the internet was uh, unstable. Okay, and probably uh, those twenty wait, minutes, wait. those twenty minutes of class that uh, were lost, probably we're gonna have to recover them. Insa four is gonna tell us how we are going okay. to, how are we okay. going to recover them? Okay. Okay. So, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but it was raining really hard around here yesterday so yeah. uh, you know how the internet connection gets you know when it when it's it rains. not so good yeah not so good that's correct that's correct okay i'm wondering where everybody is okay i, I have i have a classmate uh, he he is a very good uh, teacher and uh, and he he makes the machines very good okay very good excellent if you if you match if, if your machine is bad i uh, i call my my classmate okay very good very good so i know now you know if uh, my my computer is is not functioning well i will call you madeline okay 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 very good. his name is israel is very good teacher Okay, ah, he teaches good. computer. Yes. A computer, yes. Computer science. Ah, yes. Okay, okay, very good. So I know now, you know, if I need someone to fix my computer, I will call you. Okay, yes, of course. I I will help you. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, Ninibi. Hello. Hello, Ninibi. Ninibi is arriving. How are you, Ninibi? Fine, fine. <laughs> okay, very good, very good. Okay. Now, uh, let's... Uh, okay, Osman is here too. Hello, good evening, Osman. How are you today? Hey, good evening, teacher. I'm fine. Okay, very good, Hello, very Osman. good. Hello, Osman. Okay. Hello. Very happy to see you all, okay? Okay. Uh, Okay, very good. Today's class is going to be oriented to a grammar, okay? But you are going to practice a lot of a lot of this, okay? So, let me present to you, okay? The first thing okay. that we are going to see is what are we going to do? Okay. 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 And do you remember? Do you remember this, right? Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Very good. Yeah, I know that you remember. Okay. So excellent. So the main thing here is that. Uh, okay. So you know. A unit, this is unit two, is product testing, okay? 
And I want to remark students' collaboration and attendance. Student must attend to sessions every day. Attendance will be taken twice and should have a camera on when saying present. And a students must say verbally, present teacher. Present. So <laughs> yesterday, okay. yesterday, I'm sorry, but I, but I took everyone's attendance, okay? For, for that, it's not <laughs> I, problem I, teacher. I told you, I told you present teacher. I yeah, told I know, you. I know, and I saw your messages <laughs> too, you know, and I really, <laughs> and I really <laughs> appreciate your understanding, okay? That you understand that sometimes there are failures, especially with the internet. Okay, now let me remind you about the platform completion, right? Task, okay. okay, should be done daily. Okay, today you are going to do, okay, tomorrow you are going to do task number one. Okay? Okay. Well, it's 2.3, 2. 2. I think. Okay, or 2.2, 2, I don't remember. I did and, the task yesterday. Ah, you did the task yesterday. Yes. Okay, but that is what I'm going to explain today. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Remember that you can do it again. You can do it again. No problem. So you can improve your grade. Okay. So weekly task completion grade will be uploaded weekly. Okay. So you know that you have until Saturday 5 p.m. So you can do your task from the week. Okay. Any okay. student should participate on the forum. Uh, after every session. So I already placed a, a question. The question is, okay, since we are, you, you remember that yesterday we, uh, we checked the different uh, product testing methods. Do you remember? Yes. yes. Okay, but when we buy a product, we have a method, one of those methods. So that's what you're going to give your opinion of. Okay, Not which this. method do you use okay, when, handling. when you buy a new product? And probably there are different methods, okay? Sometimes you take two products and say, hey, let me see the price, the quality, and the site. You remember the site test? So, yeah. So you can give your opinion, okay, in the forum. Okay, very good. Now, video conference number seven is about verb agreement with complex subjects. So that means that sometimes the subject is not a single subject. Sometimes it's a combination of subjects. So how is the conjugation of the verb in that case? Okay, so that will depend on the subjects okay and what i will explain you tonight so understand how to agree with the verb with complex subjects so that is the the objective today what is the agenda we are going to study the grammar chart present pre, i'm going to present verb agreement with complex subjects we are going to do exercises and then we are going to review okay that's what we are going to do today. Okay, so let's start. Okay, first of all, okay, Vanessa, Bessie, okay. how are you, Bessie? Raul, how are you, Raul? Very good. Fine, that you are in. Okay, good very good that you are in. Excellent. So now we are going to see how this works. Okay, and for that, okay. And for that, let's study this video first, okay? I want you to watch this video that I'm going to present, okay? So let me get the video, okay? Okay, so let me get the video. The video is right here. Okay. Here we go. Listen carefully. Watch and listen. Okay, 
let me see. I'm going to, we already work with that. So we're gonna work right here. Okay. So here we go. Okay, what do you have on board? What do you have on your screen? Um, nothing. Nothing. It's white bar. <laughs> uh -huh. Now, what can you see on the screen? Black. Moment, black video. And now? Black. A video. Oh, Thank you. Okay. So, so, listen. And that's where it maybe gets the most confusing and where we most often see errors is just when when the sentence construction gets to be more complex, it's, it's more easy to make errors. I just wanted to, to do a real quick overview before we start talking about subject verb agreement, just to make sure everybody's on the same page. So the main sections of a simple sentence are the subject, which is usually a person, place, or thing, and the predicate, which shows you know, the, the action or the state of being, and any, maybe extra information about the sentence. So here are some examples. I am a master's student. Tom retired after 30 years of teaching. All of the employees will attend the retreat. So the first part of the, the predicate is the verb, which you can see underlined. And throughout this last section, we'll just focus on those first two parts, the subject and the verb. The subject and the verb in the sentence need to agree in number. And in English, regular verbs follow this pattern. I write, you write, Deborah writes, we write, they write. Okay, I'm gonna stop right here. So the subject, if the subject is singular for he, she, and it, we write the S. Do you remember that? Yes. yes. Okay, yes. and when the verb is have, then we say has, Deborah has. has. So yes. that's why important the number in the subject, okay? Very important. And remember, if the verb if the verb is the verb to be, then if it is singular, we use is. And if it is plural, we use are. 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 In the present and in the past. If it is singular, we use was and were. Was. Correct. Was. 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 Singular. Was is a is. Was is for singular. Was is singular. singular. Exactly. Where and plural? where and where for plural. Okay, plural. very plural. good. Okay, very good. So you are clear right there. Let's keep on watching the video. So most of the verbs are the same. In the present tense, the only form that's different is when we're talking about, I guess, what we, we linguists and grammar nerds call the third person singular or singular third person. Meaning that we're, when we're talking about one person, that is not me and not you. So in language used in English, normally it makes sense to add an S to something when we make it plural. Okay, so a regular present tense verb for the singular third person, <laughs> he, she, and it includes an S. However, irregular verbs will function, okay, like have, has. You remember that. But the rule is different for verbs, and we add an S when the verb is for So now that we know that the pattern, Excuse me. let's look at some common errors. Okay, now, that's why we call it complex subjects, because sometimes we don't, we, we have a subject that is not only one subject, is the combination of two or three or more subjects. Are we clear so far? Yes. Yes. And it's a little tricky because we have, uh, for example, when we have two or more subjects in one sentence, the committee members and the student write every day. Even if the subject is close to the verb is similar, it's a plural form of the verb because we're talking about a group. Okay, so this is very important. Listen carefully. Here, when we use this transition word or conjunction and, is because we are talking about two subjects and they are together. Okay, <laughs> it's no one or the other. Is that clear? It's not, it's not. Yes. It's, 
is one. nor this one, neither this one. It's neither this one nor that one. Okay? So in this case, the committee members, is talking about the members, is plural. And the student. So because it, this gives addition. So the plural is, uh, the subject is plural. That's why they write only right, even though the last subject is singular. But this singular subject is also a complement of this plural subject. At the end, it makes a plural subject. Is that clear? Yes. Yes. So look, it's composed of two or more nouns or pronouns connected by and use a plural verb. Okay? So when we use two subjects connected by and, we are going to use the plural form of the verb. Another common error example is when you have a complex subject. And so I'll give an example here. When we do have a complex subject, we the verb to use. So in this sentence, the nurse who normally works with pediatric patients, that's our subject. So what we need to do is look for the main subject because there are two different people or groups here. There's the nurse at the beginning of the sentence, and there's also the pediatric patient. So nurse is singular, patient is plural. So we have to kind of identify in Okay. Okay, I will ask you to, to turn off your microphone. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay, turn off turn off your microphone, please. Okay, very good. Turn off. Okay. Here we go. And in this case the main subject is the nurse. So the Okay, so here we say the nurse who normally works with the pediatric patients. Now, volunteers. Now, volunteers is referring to the pediatric patients or to the nurse? Pediatric patients. Pediatric patients. The nurse. No, no, because the pediatric patients, they don't volunteer. Who volunteers is the, the nurse. nurse. Uh -huh. So in this case, can you see the, the, the subject is singular, so the verb must have third person singular because Correct. we're talking about the nurse, right? Here, this verb is referring to the action that does the nurse. Is that clear? Not the pediatric patients. The nurse works with the pediatric patients, but who volunteers is the nurse. Is that clear? Yes. Yes, very good, let's continue. Uh, which nurse she is, the one who works with pediatric patients. So we need to match our verb to nurse and not to the noun right next to the verb, in this case, which is the patient. So it's the nurse who volunteers. So when a phrase comes between that main subject and the verb, the verb still needs to agree with or, or match with the number of the main subject. And a final point about subject-verb agreement is related to non noun noun, or when our, our subject is a non-noun noun. In English, some nouns or things are non-count nouns, meaning that they're a type of, of word or noun that, that can't be counted. So for example, furniture or information. As an example, we don't say one information or three furniture. That sounds a bit odd in English and isn't grammatically correct. Rather, we might say something like three pieces of furniture or one bit of information. So these special kinds of nouns always take the singular form of the verb. Okay, do you understand that? Yes, Some... I understand. Okay, we have count nouns. Those are the nouns that you can count. The dogs, the chairs, the computers, we can count. But yes. the water, the water, can you count the water? No, no. we can't. No, can't. you can. You can no. count if we modify water. For example, if I say a gallon of water, a liter of water, a glass of water, then we can quantify the water. But only water is a non-count. So all non-count nouns 
take singular forms of the verb. Is that clear? Okay. No count nouns take singular forms. I will show you. Okay, here we go. So in this example sentence, is with information because that's our main subject rather than are. Um, information about Walden's master's degree programs and education is available on the website. Okay, now take a look. Take a look here because we're talking about information and it's a non count noun. The verb that we are going to use must be singular, okay? Because no count nouns take singular forms of the verbs. Is that clear? Okay, now we are going to see this in more detail, but right now I want you to take a picture. Take a picture of this, please, okay? I will place it in a minute. Take a picture of this, please. Go ahead, take your cell phone and take a picture. Okay, take a picture of that, please. No. We lost the teacher. Okay, take a picture of this, please. Take a picture. Take your cell phone and take a picture, please. Okay? Okay. okay. Finished. Okay, let me know when you Hold, finished. Hold, just a moment. Just a moment. We're ready. Okay. Yeah. Hold okay. a moment, please. No problem, no problem. I'll give you all the time of the world, okay? Watch you each night, every Friday. Just a moment. A few supports. Did you finish? Yes. Yes. No? Yes. Go ahead. Yes. Go ahead, go ahead. Finish now? No. Yes. Did you finish now? Yes. 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 Okay, very good. Now, I want you to, that you also take a picture of this, okay? Because you're gonna need it. Okay, take a picture of this, please. Hurry up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Help me, Seba. Did you finish? Yes. Everybody. Yes. Yes. Okay, yes. very good. I'm gonna. No. Go. Not yet. Okay. Not yet. I'm giving you time. No, don't worry. I'm giving you time. Um, Did you a finish? A little bit Error. more time, oh. Almost, almost. Okay, no problem. Just let me know when you finish. Uh, now, yes. Yes. Okay, now. I'm going to go time. back. I'm going to go back to the page. Okay, to the first page. Okay, now these are quantifiers. So when you see one, when you see each, and when you, when you see every, they are used only with singular count nouns. Is that clear? One, each. One, two, each man, every friend. So they are used with singular count nouns, therefore, they are going to be used with verbs in the singular form. For example, one shoe remains. Each shoe, each man sits. Every friend comes to the party. Is that clear? So, yes. because one, each, and every are used with singular count nouns. So, they are going to take 
the singular agreement verb part. Are we clear? Yes. yes. Okay, now, some other quantifiers can only be used with plural count nouns. For example, can you see count nouns? Sports, workers, skirts, stores, men, three, shoes, trend, tuxedos. So when that happens, when that happens, you are going to use the plural form of the verb. For example, a few sports are played indoors. Many workers came early to the factory. A couple of skirts were on the floor. Is that clear? Why? Yes. Because these quantifiers can only be used with plural count nouns. No. Now, very good. Let's continue. Now, some quantifiers can only be used with non-count nouns. Okay? For example, formality, you cannot count. Fun, you cannot count. Choice, you cannot count. Formality, conflict, interest. Are we clear? Yes. So when you see non-count nouns, you have to use the singular form of the verb. Are we clear? Yes. Yes. Very good. Very good that we are clear. Now. Teacher, I have a question. Yeah. What is your question? What does mean agree a deal? A great, a great deal. I uh, yes. Uh -huh. A great deal is una gran cantidad. Okay. A great deal is like a great amount of. A great amount, una gran cantidad. A great deal is un montón de conflictos. Is okay. that clear? Okay. Thank More you. More questions? Several? You know what is the meaning of several? Much. Many. Many. No, many because many. it's plural. Remember? Is plural. Many. Much is for non-count nouns. Non-count. Choice. Choice is eh, escogencia. Decision. Uh -huh. Decision. Choice. Right. You don't have much choice. No tiene mucha escogencia. Okay. More questions? No. Toxidos. You know what is a toxido? No. Yes. It's a suit that you use like a penguin. You know ah. those very fancy parties? So you have to wear tuxedos. We call it like in Spanish a smoking. Tuxedos. Okay? Smoking. Okay, very good. Now, let's go here. Now, with this one, we have to be careful. Okay? Because this same word, no, no, some, any, some, any, can be used with both, with count nouns and with non-count nouns. So when we use any of these with count nouns, we have to use the plural form of the verb. Are you following me? Yes. Yes. Now, when these quantifiers are used with non-count nouns, they have to take the singular form, okay? Because the subject is non-count, right? And all non-counts take singular forms, okay? Is that clear? Mm -hmm. yes. yes or no? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. yes. Okay, now when we practice, we're going to see it more clearly. Okay, now in the chat, I am placing plenty of in the chat. Let me get here chat, 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 chat. Okay, in the chat, I am placing a link, okay? I want you that you get that link on your computer or on your cell phone. Mm -hmm. Can you see it? That link. Can you yes. see it? Yes. Okay, so copy that link and place it on your computer, okay? I have okay. that link right here. Okay, I'm gonna show it to you. 
Okay. This link is an explanation and exercises at the same time. Okay, so let's take a look. Okay, so I have subject verb agreement. Can you see it? Yes. Okay. Yes. Now, tomorrow in the morning, I'm going to send an email with all these links from uh and the vocabulary. Remember the vocabulary that we saw yesterday? I'm going to yes. send both to your yes. emails. Okay? Okay. 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 Very good. Thank you. Okay. So in, in the links, this is, well, the first one is the video. The video that we saw. And the first link is this one that we have right here. So I need a volunteer. Everybody is going to read. So come on, let's take advantage. Go ahead. A volunteer to read, please. I thought you are probably already familiar with basic subject for agreement. This chapter begins with a quick review of basic agreement. 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 Rules. And Rules. Rules. Subjects and verbs must agree with one another in numbers, singular or plural. Thus, is a subject is singular. This verb must also be singular. A verb. If a must, verb. If a verb. If a subject. Yeah, it's a, if yeah, a subject. It's sorry. A, uh, verb must also be plural. In the present tense, nouns and verb formal, formal plural. Uh, form plural in opposite ways. Nouns add an s to the singular form. Verb remove remove the s from the from the singular form. Okay, very good. So you see, if the if the subject is singular, we use a singular form of the verb chases. The verb is chase, but because we're talking about a singular singular subject, we put the s. We add the s. Now, when we talk about plural subject. We use the plural form of the verb. Is that clear? Very simple. Yes. Now, in the past is not a problem because singular and plural are the same simple past tense of the verb. So here we don't have any problem. Singular and plural take the past tense form. Now, when we talk about the present perfect or right here, I need a volunteer to read this, please. The agreement, another volunteer. The agreement rules do, however, apply to the following helping verbs when they are used with a main verb. Is are, was, were, has, have. Does and do, okay? Does do. Does and do, okay. For example, the, the girl because the girl singular. has spoken to me. Okay. The, the girl, because it's singular, we use has talked. But if the verb, if the subject is plural, the girls, we change the auxiliary. Yes. The girls have talked. Yeah. Now, the thing happens here. The girl has, girl has been talking to me. Yeah. If it is plural, the girls have been talking to me. Is that clear? Yes. 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 Okay, very good. Okay, the agreement, another volunteer, a different volunteer, please. Okay. The agreement rules do not apply to has, have, when used as the second helping verb in a pair. Aha. Uh -huh. For example, look over here. The auxiliary verb is could, and also we have an another, the second auxiliary. That's what he says right here. The agreement rules do not apply to has and have when used as the second helping verb. The first helping verb is could. The second helping verb is have. So in this case, the girl could have talked. We don't change it. Or the girls could have talked. Is that clear right here? Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. Very good. They do not apply to any other helping girl. Okay, another volunteer to read this, please. Different volunteer. 
They, they do not, not apply to any other help in such as can, could, should, should, may, might, will, will, and must. Okay, all these verbs are called modal auxiliaries. Modal auxiliaries, because they modulate the action of the verb. So all these verbs don't take singular or plural form. Okay, the girl could talk or the girls could talk. Are we clear? Yes, All yes. These helping verbs called modal auxiliaries don't take plural or singular form. Okay, very good. The next one, another volunteer, different one, different one. Okay, this. this. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> okay, one, one. Continue. Okay, okay. the subject. Verse yeah. agreement rules apply to all personal pronouns except I and you. Oh, I wish and you. I and you wish also singular. Although, pronoun. although, also singular, singular require plural force of verse. Okay, now when the talk, when the when the verb is singular, we can talk about he, she, and it. Now, that one will use singular forms of the verb. But we also have singular for the pronoun I and singular for the pronoun you. In that case, does not apply. The rule does not apply. For example, he talks to the girl. We talk to the girl. I talk to the girl. You see, even though I is singular, I don't add an S. John. You talk to the girl, even because the subject is you singular, we don't use the S. We don't add the S to the verb. Why? Because only applies for he, she, and it. Is that clear? But yes. not for I and you. Okay. okay. Very good. Now, everybody, load, uh, load the, the link. Do you understand mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yes. yes. Load the link because you are going to do this exercise. Okay. Okay? okay. And I'm going to put you in, in trios. Okay. Please okay. exercise one. Exercise one. Okay? Exercise one. Are we clear, guys? Yes. Okay. Yes. And click and exercise one, please. Okay? And do... Now, you are going to do one at a time. For example, Jose, Raul, and Jader. So Jader does number one, Raul does number two, and Osman does number three. Then Jader does number four, Raul does number five, and Osman does number six, and so on. Is that clear? Hello, is that clear? Yes. Yes, do you have yes. the yes. Do you have the link? Do you have the exercise? Yes, I everybody I have the yes, I have you have the exercise the exercise, yes. Okay, mm -hmm. so I'm going to divide you in groups, okay? Okay, so let me see. We are 14, so we are going to make only four six. questions. Only yeah, four, well. only four. No, there are, yeah, there are only four. So you are going to do this. I will give you three minutes. No, five minutes. Are you ready? Six groups. Yes. Here we go. Okay, go ahead. Go to your group, please. Raul, move to group number number four. Ah, with Mabel, with Maybelline. Okay, very good. Okay, go ahead. Guys. Alvaro, yes, what happened to you yesterday? We were missing you. Yesterday, last night's class. I, I know, teacher. I'm okay. sorry, I know, but I, I wasn't I was working. 
Okay, very good. I will put that uh, remark on the list, okay, that you were working. Thank you. Thank okay. you so much. Okay, very good. So let's start working right here. Okay, number one, a Yellowstone Park, grizzly birds, doesn't or don't? Don't have names. Aha, you see grizzly birds, also pardos. So it's plural. So we have to exactly. use the plural form, right? Don't. Very good. Yeah. Okay, very good. So do the other ones. I'm going to go to another group. Okay? Okay, teacher. Thank I'm you so much. To another group. Okay, go ahead. One at a time. One at a time. Okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, no problem. Um, I, I tried to share the, the exercise in your screen. Okay, thank you so much, Eugenia, because uh, now I don't have the link, so maybe you can share it with me. The, okay. the link I... is in the chat, okay? Yeah. The link is in the chat, okay? Yeah, I have loading. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Let me go to another group. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher, thank you. Okay, go ahead, keep practicing, please. Okay, thanks, teacher. Okay, very good, very good. Teacher, sorry, but uh, I have a question. Can you uh -huh. help me explain yeah. how can I share the screen in, in this? Ah, you cannot okay. share the screen. Okay. Only I can share the screen. Ah, no, I, I got okay. it. Oh, maybe no, teacher, but okay. If you go to I compartir got. pantalla, I don't know if yeah, you can. I got. I got uh, I got and go to the link that you have. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, teacher. Now we have the link now here. Okay. Very okay. good. Very good. But you can see the screen. I. Yes, I, I can. Okay. okay very okay. good. Let me go here now. Uh, the first was don't don't have name. Es la sin es que no es plural. No, no, but in in, in English. Isn't it plural? <laughs> you that in English. Come on, remember, not Spanish is allowed. Okay? So what is number one? Okay. Uh, uh, don't have. No, but complete, read the whole sentence. Read the whole Hello. sentence. At Yellowstone. Yes. Okay, go yes. ahead, Alicia. At Yellowstone. There is. At Yellowstone Park, grizzly birds don't have names. They have numbers. Very good. Okay, mm -hmm. Bessie, number two. In the meeting between human and beer. And bear, 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 bear. Because beer yeah, is beer. what you drink. <laughs> beer is what you drink. It's the dinner time. <laughs> okay, oh, yeah. so let's go. In the okay. meeting. In the meeting between a human and bear. Bear, bear. I will car factor through. A wild car factor. A wild car factor through. Throws. Did you see? Throws. A wild throws. car factor throws. throws. This singular, can you see? It's singular, uh -huh. okay. So throws. All calculations. Go ahead, finish it. Okay. Throw all calculations and studies to the wind. To the wind. Okay. To the wind. Very good. To okay. wind. Okay. Blanca de Vasquez, number three. The, the Yellowstone authorities should have kept true. Kept. 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 Uh, kept. Thorough. True. So, record on each beer. Bear. No beer. <laughs> not a Pilsener. <laughs> not a record. Okay. On each beer. <laughs> okay. Very good. You are doing very good. Do the other ones, please. I'm going to go okay. to another group. Okay? Okay. Okay. Thank okay. you, teacher. Bye. 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 Okay. Is, is, is this correct? Yes. Okay. Yes, should have, no, not should no, have, ha have, should have, because remember, 
When we have one helping verb. It's a problem. It's a uh -huh, problem. And, and yes. have is the second helping yes, verb. Yes, yes, No changes. Okay? Okay. Yes. Very good. Very good. Mm -hmm. That's Hello, how are you doing Hi. in this group? Hello. Uh, encounter, uh -huh. I don't know, is encounter or something like that. Uh -huh. Encounter, okay. When some bears is singular or uh, plural the subject? Plural. It's plural, yeah. right? It's plural, yes. Uh -huh. So it has to be encounter. No. Encounter. Right? Not encounter. I did. I didn't know how to pronounce it. Uh -huh. Encounter. 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 Very okay. good. Encounter. People. People. It is the bear who runs. It is the bear who runs. Okay. Very good. Now, who is doing number five? Me, Ninivet. <laughs> okay. Go ahead, Ninivet. Do number five. The, the great. great national, national parks hold. Hold, uh huh. About 200 grizzly. grizzlies. Grizzlies? Grizzlies? With possibly 30 of them being. 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 being breathing. 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 Females. Females. Okay, very good. Number six. Who has to do number six? Me. Oscar, okay. I have to, this group, uh, the, ah, here um, it says, this group of sentences contains a mixture of correct and incorrect subject verb combination. So you have to see if they have used the correct, the correct uh, auxiliary. Okay. Behind an experimental fence jar protecting campers, the visitor has. Aha, uh -huh. six visitors. I, Is this correct? Six visitors no, has. May, uh, it's have. Aha, uh -huh. six visitors yeah. have been, been finally molded by Grizzly. Mold, mold by Grizzly. Okay. Okay, very good. Very good. Uh, number seven. Okay, so you are doing very good. I'm gonna go to another group, okay? Okay. okay. Thanks. Bye. 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 Okay. Uh -huh. Now in part, uh, did you finish Hello, part teacher. number no, part number one? No teacher. Uh, yeah. We we are so confused. Uh-huh. Let's see why. Uh, uh, in the first sentence, uh, we are not sure about... Uh, no, in the first sentence, you are correct. Because what is the subject right here? Grizzly bears. Is it singular or plural? Plural. Plural. So the plural form plural. is... Don't. Uh, don't. Right? Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Cousin is okay. only for he, she, and it. Right? So you are correct. Bears okay. don't have correct. names. Okay. Now, what about the next one? In the meeting, the um, in the meeting between human and bears, I will bear, curve bear, factors. Bear, bear, bear. Uh, I will curve factors. Uh -huh. Throws all calculation and studies to the wind. Exactly, because this is the subject for this verb. This is the subject. A wild car factor throws. Throws. It's singular, right? Can you see it? Okay. Uh, okay, yes. very good, very good. Okay, very good. Now, the number three. I show the Yellowstone. It is how. Uh huh, but read the whole sentence so you practice your fluency. Okay. Do you understand? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, go the ahead, Yellowstone. read the whole thing. The Yellowstone Authorities shall have keep throw yep. records yep. on each yep. bear. Exactly. And remember, here the first auxiliary is should. The second auxiliary has to be have because yes. it's the second auxiliary. Do you remember? 
So very good. Okay. Keep on keep on practicing. I'm gonna go to other groups. Okay. Very good. Okay. Thank you. Okay, teacher. Okay. See you later, alligators. Okay. okay. Thank you. Okay. See you later. When some bears, we, when uh, some some bears encounters, Enco uh, encounter, encounter, encounters people can scandal the meaning of the mandarin. Mandarin. Meandering. Meandering. Google say it's meandering. Meandering. Meandering, exactly. Google say it's meandering. Meandering. <laughs> No, because it comes from Min. You remember Min? Mandarin. Yeah. Mandarin. Okay. I, I think Mandarin. it's Mandarin. Okay, very good. So, go to the exercise. Let me see. Okay. Uh, the first? No, no, not the first. Do you finish all the first one? Ah, yes. No, no. The all first we have complete. The from one to five. Two, we are working in the part two. In part two, now part two, remember there is a mistake. Go up, there is a mistake. So you corrected it right here. Very good, it had been. Okay, what is number two? Number two uh, is have, keep. That is number ah, three. Throws. Sorry, no. sorry. Throws. Oh, numbers, number seven, Throws. number seven, number seven. Sorry, you number are on the seven. second part. Okay. Number seven. We think Mandarin. Correct number seven. Uh -huh. Mandarin down river toward a deer. Curiously cows come within 50 yards of uh -huh. What is the mistake? I think that it come, come should be without F. Exactly, because he's talking about three grizzly cubs. Tres yes. cachorros de oso pardo, verdad? Come without S. Very good, very good. Okay. Hey, I'm going to have to bring you back to the groups, okay? Okay. Okay, okay very good. Annie Nunez. Okay. Your microphone teacher. Hello, how are you today? What's uh, the I'm great. Hello, Annie. Welcome, Annie Nunez. Uh, eh. <laughs> you have to turn uh, eh. you have to turn on your microphone. Oh, she's getting she's getting Be -M -M. okay. Now Be very good. Hello. Very good. Now let's take a look. Okay, let's continue with the with the link. You remember the link? Yes. Yes, I okay, remember. Okay, very good. So we're gonna go with the link. Okay, we did the first exercise. Okay, exercise number one. Now I need a volunteer to read to read the second one. The remainder. Victor Mike. Uh huh. A volunteer. The remainder. The remainder of this teaching, Junis deals with some more advan advanced advanced subjects. Advanced subjects, verbs, agreement, rules, and with a section to the o original 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 subjects, verbs, agreement agreement rule. Okay, very good. Let's see. Compound subjects. Okay. Now, uh, another volunteer. The word compound means made up of two or more parts. Two or more words can be compounds or linked. Compounded, compounded or linked. Compounded or linked by joining them with any of three words. Uh -huh. And those words are an or or nor, okay? So and, you know what is the meaning, or, you know what is the meaning, ignore, you know what is the meaning, right? Ni, ni. Okay, so take a look. 
Another volunteer, read this, please. Here are some examples of compounding. Of compounding, okay, for example. Compounding, okay. Okay, apples and oranges. Apples. Apples and oranges. Apples and oranges. So can you see plural and another plural? So it's all plural. Is that clear? Because okay. these words joins. These words okay. joins. Okay. okay, two subjects. Now, here. Dog, cat, bird. Dog, cat, or bird. Okay, now, here we don't join. We have them separated. Take mm -hmm. a look. Continue, Veronica. Compound. Compound uh, nouns can function as a compound subject. In some instance, instances, instances, uh, a compound subject. Poses. Special problems for the subject verb agreement rule. Okay, let's take a look. For example, the ranger sees a bird. The camper sees a bird. So in this case, the ranger is singular and they use sees because it's singular. The camper is singular, they use sees because the, bird, the subject is singular. Now, however, instead of using two sentences as above, we may choose to give the above information in one sentence. The ranger and the camper. So now one and one makes two. So it converts it into plural now. Is that clear? So in that case, the ranger and the camper see, no sees, see the bird. Are we clear? Okay. Yes. Very good. Volunteer to read, please. This sentence make use of, of a compound subject, two subject nouns joined by N, a, illustrating a new rule about subject per agreement. Okay, very good. Another volunteer, read this. Also. Okay, okay, let's, let's continue. Uh, so, also. Also, each part of the compound subject is singular, ranger and camper, taken together, joining by an. Uh -huh. One becomes part of a plural structure. Hold, hold a minute. A structure and therefore must take a plural verb C to agree in the sentence. Is what I have explained you right. Two singular subjects joined by an it makes it a plural subject, right? Now, subject verb rule number one. Read it, somebody. Two or more single or plural subject join it by an act as a plural compound subject. And take a plural and verb. And take a plural verb, singular plus singular. Make equal, plural, right? plural. Equals plural. Make, yeah, make plural. You can check the verb by subtitling the pronoun date for the compound subject. Okay, instead of saying the ranger and the camper, you can say they, right? They see the verb. Yes, yes. So the ranger they and the camper the see the verb. Okay, very good. Another volunteer, please. Or and nor as joiners work somewhat differently for n, while the word n seems to add things together, or and nor do not. They suggest a choice. Uh -huh. So it's like in Spanish. Una pelota o una, no, un aguacate o una manzana. ¿Qué quiere? Ah, un aguacate. Entonces, even though they are joined, but they are separated. Do you okay. understand? So they yes, are still yes, singular. Yes. Okay. On the other hand, when you use nor, ni un aguacate, ni una manzana. So they still remain okay. singular, right? They still remain okay. singular. So take a look. 
Okay, look at this sentence. The ranger or the camper sees the bear. Look at the sentence. The ranger or the camper sees the bear. So the 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 subject, the subject near near the verb is the one that is going to make the agreement. Because I can say the ranger or the campers. When I see, when I use the campers that is plural, I'm going to use only C. Is that clear? Yes. Yes, if everybody? The, if, if I have the campers. Aha, uh -huh, if you. Now, for example, I'm going to give you another example right here. It is, look, right here. The rangers the or the campers. Can you see right here? Yes. No, okay, they yes. are both plural, so they change yes. the plural. But what makes the difference? The difference the makes it the second, the Sir, second subject. subject. If the second subject is plural, the verb is going to be plural. If the first is plural and the second one is singular, the verb has to be singular. Really? Okay. okay. And if it is three, and if it is three, the one that is closer, más cerca, from the verb, yes. that mm -hmm. is the one that is going to make the singular or the plural form of the agreement with the verb. Is that clear? Oh, okay. 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 So in this case, because the camper is plural, see the verb. Now, take a look. Ranger or camper? Rangers or camper? Now here, ranger or camper? Rangers or camper? Now, take a look. The ranger and the campers, this is singular and this is plural. But the one that is closer to the verb makes the difference because this is plural, the verb has to be plural. Now, the rangers is plural. And the camper, you see when I use and, singular. it makes it more plural. No, I use, um. this, I use this only with and. You remember? Yes. 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 Only with and, it becomes plural. But now here, this is what I want to show you. The ranger is singular. Or the campers, which is closer to the verb. The campers. The, plural. Campers. So the verb has to be plural. Now okay. here, the rangers is plural. Or the camper, the camper is singular. So look at the verb, also singular. Mm -hmm. Is that clear? So yes. Yes. And in the case that we have three subjects, the one is closer to the verb is the one that is going to make it singular or plural. Okay? Okay. Now look, the rangers, the explorers, or the camper, and you see what is the closest to the verb? The camper. So that mm -hmm. takes it because it's singular, is going to take the verb is going to take a singular form. Is that clear? Okay. Yes. yes. Okay. Now, based on that, do you have any questions? This is very simple. Now, this can be singular. This can be singular and this can be plural. So the verb is going to be plural. Okay. Is that clear? Okay. okay. Yes. Oh, yes. Now, we're going to go to exercise number two. Okay. And I will give you another five minutes. No, I'm going to check the list. Okay. Okay. I'm going to check the list right now. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, Present. Thank you. Blanca Estela. Present teacher. Thank you. Maria Eugenia. Present teacher. Thank you. Bessie. Present teacher. Thank you. Oscar Eduardo. Present. Thank you. Raul Mauricio. Present. Thank you. Nínive. Present. Thank you. Eh, Marta Beatriz Alegría. Present. Present. Okay, very good. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, next. Eh, Álvaro Enrique. Present. Very good. Rafael René Molina. Rafael René Molina. Rafael René. 
Ok, María Adelina Araya. Present teacher. Very good. Ana Alicia Carolina López. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Osman Enrique Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you. Now Victor May is here. Ah. Cecilia Yamilet Fuentes. Rafael René Molina. Daniel Osvaldo Pérez. Daniel Osvaldo Pérez. Verónica Beatriz Mendoza. Present teacher. Thank you. Ana del Carmen Cortés de Núñez. Present. Thank you. Andrea Alexandra Flores. Kenia Johanna Pérez. En Vanessa Alexandra Armas. Present. Very good. Okay. So let's continue. We are going to make groups. Okay. And we are going to do this exercise. For example, both. Now, when I say both, is plural, right? Because I join this and this. Both Democrats and Republicans are, are electing are. a new leader. Are we clear? Yes. Okay, do the other ones, please. I'm gonna make I'm gonna make groups. <sighs> okay. Okay, let me see. Okay, so we are, let me see. I'm going to make new groups, volver a crear. Okay, so we are 15. So we are going to make five groups, okay? Okay, join the groups, please. Join the groups, please. Beatriz. Okay, Beatriz, I'm going to move you to group number. Okay, go ahead. Start practicing, please. Yes, very good. What is the link? I'm, I'm the same link. I don't know the link. It is the one, the, the second one. The second link exercise two. Aha, uh -huh, exercise two. It could says exercise send, two. Could you send the link again, please? I don't. The link in the, is in the chat. Can you see it in the chat? Mm. No? No, I, I don't. Mm, okay, no. hold on. Let me see. Right there, it's in the chat, right there. That is the link. Go to the chat and you can see it right here. Can you see it now? No, I In the chat, in the chat. The chat, what? What up? Thousand. Thousand. That. Edu. Uh, Beatriz, can you see it right here? Go to the chat. Open the chat and it says right here. I stayed in the chat, but I didn't I didn't. You I don't, don't see it? Can you see the, the, the screen? Yeah, yeah, the screen, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna share the screen. Go, go ahead. Uh, hold on, hold on. Okay. Can you see the exercise right now? Yeah, this is the exercise. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I, I can see that. Okay, okay, right here. So now I'm gonna I'm gonna share the shot. Can you see it right here? Yes. Right here. This is the link, the first one. The English yes. That is the link. 
Yes. Okay, copy the link, and then it's exercise number two. You link on that one, and that is the exercise. Okay. Okay, for example, okay. this is the page. When you go to the link, this is the page. So you come, you scroll down, and that is exercise one. We already did. This is exercise number two. So this is the link. Can you see, Madeline? Link to exercise number two. That's the one that you are going to click on. Okay? And that is the exercise. Are we clear? Yes. Okay. Yes. yes. Okay. So let's do. Uh, okay. Let's see. Vanessa, do number two. Remember. Okay. Both, both you unite the subject. So it's plural. Right? Okay. Because it's plural, we are going to use R. 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 Okay, R. Vanessa, do number two. Neither threats or hostile threats. Hostile. Neither threats or hostile action is care the enemy. Uh huh, but hostile. Remember, when we use nor, hostile action. So this is singular. So it has yes. to be. It scares. It scares. It scares, right? It has to be a scares okay. because this subject is singular. Okay. okay. Let's see. Oscar, number three. Yes. Okay. The actors and director understand the light problem. The lighting problem. Correct. Very good. Understand why? Because the because the end. It makes a plural subject, right? Okay. Put them together. Okay, very good. Number four, Madeline. Number four, the, the surfer. surfer or the swimmers are. Are. Continue, continue. Responsible. For the literate beach. For the literate beach. Okay, leader means. Llena de basura for the little bit. So, yeah, and you see the swimmers is plural. The last subject is plural. So, we take R. Okay, very good. Next, uh, Vanessa. A good diet and a realistic exercise plan combined to help one lose weight. Uh -huh, but which one? Combines or combined? Combined. Combined because, uh -huh, combined because we're using an good diet and a realistic exercise. So makes plural subject. Correct. Combined. Very good. Okay, very good. Now, the next one, part number two. There is a mistake. Try to find the mistake, Oscar. Number one. Sweet potato and some carrots provides. Important for healthy age. It's the bear provides is without this. Exactly. Very good. Excellent. A sweet potato and some carrots provide vitamin A because the and makes it a plural subject. Okay. okay. Uh, Maybelline, number seven. The eyes. Madeline, turn on your microphone. Turn on your microphone, Madeline. Turn on your microphone. Oh, she's frozen. Vanessa. Okay. <laughs> the, uh, the eyes or the skin are often adversely affected by a lack of vitamin A. Yeah. But Vanessa, remember yes. that when we have or, this is the subject. The subject is singular or plural? The subject is singular. Uh -huh, it's singular, so I have yes. to use is. So this one is correct. Ah, okay. Okay, very good, okay. very good. Okay, Nadaling, are you there? Ah, Beatriz. Do number yes. A, Beatriz. Neither bleach nor die really helps. Uh, really, really helps. Uh -huh. Nor helps. dies. What is really the mistake? Uh, 
helps uh, eat with, uh, without, without S. Without S, that is correct. Neither bleach nor dyes really help. Okay, because this is plural, no S. Now, do you have any questions about vocabulary? Yes. Do you know what is the meaning of bleach? No. Chloro. Neither Chloro. bleach nor dyes, ni el cloro, ni los tintes, really yeah, help okay. on healthy hair look better. Okay. El cloro, ni los tintes. You know better because you are women. You you use this, right? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, number nine, Nadaling. Nadaling is not here. Okay, Oscar. Okay. Ripe tomatoes. Ripe tomatoes. Ripe tomatoes, yes. Grocery approach. Teacher, what is the meaning of leafy? Leafy, leafy Brussels. Leafy. Brussels son este, como lechugas eh, uh -huh. eh, europeas, como lechuga romana. Okay, and leafy? And leafy es llena de hojas. Usted ve que la lechuga romana es leafy, es con un montón de hojas, va. Okay. Ah, sprouts. Okay, the mistake is the verb is. I think that is R. Uh huh, okay, very good because it says ripe tomatoes, leafy Brussels sprouts, and a handy orange are rich in vitamin C. Because all of this with the and makes mm -hmm. a plural, a plural subject. Number 10. Number 10, Vanessa. Unfortunate, unfortunately, or for the sedentary. Okay, wait. Are the... Unfortunately. Unfortunately. Hey, excellent. Very good. Unfortunately. <laughs> unfortunately, for the sedentary, neither diet nor vi vitamins alone Vitamin? provide sufficient, sufficient. Food, sufficient food. Fuel. 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 Fuel for good health. Excellent, very good. Now, is the sentence correct or is wrong? It's wrong because the last subject is... Vitamins. Vitamins is plural yeah. or singular? Ah, yes, yes, sorry, sorry. Yes, yes, I can see. Sorry, uh -huh. sorry. Okay, so the sentence is correct. Correct, yes, yes, yes. Correct. Okay, very good. An applause to the group. Okay? Good. Okay, now I'm going to go back. Uh -huh. Okay. 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 Now we're gonna go back to the Hello guys, how are you? Was the practice okay? Yes. It's not that difficult when you understand, when you understand. Okay, very good. Now we are going to continue with the next the next topic. Okay, let's see. Okay. Now, uh, I'm gonna go back right here. And, okay, now group nouns, okay? Raul, start reading, please, group nouns. Uh, group nouns. Some nouns which name groups can be either singular or plural depending upon their meaning in individual sentences. Okay, so depending on the meaning, for example, the club, the club is singular, but the clubs in El Salvador is plural. Now, when we say the club, but teacher and the members of the club, ah, the members of the club is plural, but the club is singular. For example, family, family make us think, hey, members of the family, yeah, but only one family is singular. When I say many families, it's plural. Do you understand? Yes, teacher, okay. and what about handle orange? Handle what about orange. what? Hand, handy. Like a, like a, uh -huh. hand, handy. We see in, in one exercise. The in word exercise handy. number two. Yes, handy okay, orange. Let me, let me put it, what? Yeah, it's continue. Uh, and handy yeah. orange. The second yes. part. Okay, and handy orange is read the environment. Okay, that is the orange that you squeeze with your hand. Ah. Okay, that's a handy orange. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, very good. Let's go back. Thank you. No problem. Okay, let's go back. So, so this group uh, nouns can be singular or plural, depending how you use it. For example, you can say, my family is big. Is that singular or plural? Singular. Singular, singular, singular. but I can say, the families in my neighborhood are angry. Is that singular or plural? Plural. Okay, very good, very good. Plural. Okay, so I need a volunteer to read this quickly. Uh, let's see, because, Rafael. Because they can describe either the individuals and group more than one plural. Uh -huh. Or the group has single entity. Entity, entity one only singular. This now, this now pose a special problem. However, there are some guidelines. Guidelines, guidelines. Gu guidelines. Uh -huh. for deciding which verb form, singular or plural, to use with one or this noun as the subject in a sentence. In a sentence, okay. If, Go ahead, continue, if, Raul. If, if, if we refer to a group as a whole and therefore as a single unit, we consider the noun singular. In this case, we use a singular verb. Okay, very good. Example, the club is meeting today because here is with the singular meaning, I use the singular form of the verb. Now, if on the other hand, we are actually referring to the individuals within the group, then we consider the noun plural. The couple are separating this week. You see the couple? The couple is two, okay? But okay. if I say a couple, I, is singular. But when I say mm -hmm. the couple, I'm referring to the members of the couple. Is that clear? So in that case, yes. it's plural. So the couple are separating. The same happens with clubs. Take a look. The clubs, because it's plural, are having a meeting today. Okay? So, very clear, okay. right? Now, look, group yes. nouns can be considered as a single unit. Take a singular verb. Group nouns can be considered as individual members. Take plural. Group nouns can be considered, can be given plural forms to mean two or more units. So, like the families. Okay, now let's go and do exercise number three, real quick. Okay? okay. Now, let me separate okay. you. Okay, different groups. Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna make the same five groups. No, six groups. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. Go ahead, join the group. Join the groups, please. Okay, very good, very good. No. Nice to meet you. Okay, very good. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. Now, in the Peace Corps, the Peace Corps is an American group. So, is that singular or plural? It's called. An American group. Which one? It's this one, number one. In the Peace Corps, the Peace Corps is the name of this American group. Los I Cuerpos de Paz. Mm -hmm. In the Peace Corps, an American group goes or go? Goes. 
Yeah, those. Why? Because it's one group, an American group. Can you see it? Yes. Very good. Very good. Goes. Number two. Who's going to do number two? Rafael. <laughs> Rafael. Okay, Rafael. If you insist. <laughs> Rafael. The family members. Well, Rafael is not here. I will try to do it. Okay, go ahead, uh, Alvaro. Um, the family members learned a variety of different skills that are valuable in the market. Valuable. Repeat after valuable. me. Valuable. Valuable. Okay, yeah. You see? The family members. So he's talking about the member, not the family. The member is plural. Very good. Uh, Eugenia, number three. Okay. The U.S. Senate. Senate. Has Senate. Uh -huh. Senate. Okay. The U.S. Senate made several individual wait, proposals. Wait, wait, wait. For... In this one, you have to use one of these. Um, the U.S. Senate. The U.S. Senate has made several individual proposals for a starting to peace courts. Excellent, very good, because this wow. is a singular unit, right? It's a singular yes. unit. Okay, very good. Rafael, number four. On October 4th, 1960, at the University of Michigan, a John Crow listened to John, Ke to John Kennedy Corpus, the Peace Corps. Uh, propose, propose. Okay, now a young crowd is this singular or plural? It's singular. It's singular, so it has to be. Está temblando. An earthquake. Sí, está temblando. Oh. Earthquake. Earthquake. Please. <laughs> Listen. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Listen. It went away. The trembling went away. <laughs> so it should the be listens. You see, learning English, learning English makes you not think about the, the, the temblings. <laughs> okay, so listen, very good. Now, so listen, number five. Listen. Uh -huh. Number five, who is number five? Eugenia or Alvaro? I don't remember. Oh, Rafael, because he lost the last one. <laughs> okay, then number okay, five. So uh -huh. So, the tribe the, members, the tribe members are expressing their individual thanks to members of the Peace Corps. Excellent, Rafael. Very good. Very good. You see, that was the easy one, teacher. <laughs> hey, all are easy. You see, when you when you practice, all are easy. Okay. Now, the more you practice, the better you become. Okay, now, teacher, uh, teacher. now is, is uh, Eugenia time, number six. <laughs> Remember, <laughs> these may or may not have a mistake. They may be correct or they may not be correct. Okay, so. Mm, the volunteers group is teaching forestry in Ecuador. Pipe or pipe? Pipe, pipe repair. Pipe. I repair in Pachanila. In, Pachin in Pachanila. Pachanila. And Seawing in Pueblo. In Pueblo. Is um, that correct or is incorrect? I think it's correct. It's correct yeah. because he's talking about the volunteer group. He's talking about a one unit. Okay, singular. Very good. So, number seven, uh, Alvaro? Number seven, let's see. A prestigious club has contributed funds, materials, and ideas to Peace Corporate's volunteer. Uh -huh. So, is that correct or incorrect? Correct. Correct, okay, because he's talking about one club. Very good. Number eight, uh, Rafael. The Peace Corp 
team member often get together to talk over all time. Aha, so is that correct or incorrect? Incorrect. Incorrect, okay, very good. What should be correct? The Pister Corp team members often get together together to talk about all time very good excellent very good rafael number mm -hmm. nine uh eugenia in the towns visited by the peace corps the government repay the work of the volunteer with gratitude is this correct or incorrect it, I think it's correct. No, because here, what is the subject? The government, the government repays because repays the government the work, is singular, right? So the government and, repairs the work of the volunteers with gratitude. Okay, and number 10. Uh, who is Alvaro, right? Number 10, it says... Uh, let's see, a new crew, 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 crew. a new crew, crew. Yeah. are now volunteering to join the modern peace corp. Corps is corps is a new crew. Uh -huh. is. Very, very good. A new crew is, is. is now volunteering. Very good, excellent, very good. Okay. So now let's go back. Ah, one participante no asignado. Who is that? Ah, <laughs> Madeline. Okay, so but we are going back anyway. Okay. Okay, guys, how you doing? Okay. Do you have any questions about the exercises that you just did? We need much more practice. Teacher. Yeah, by sure. the way, I have a Be question with the almost, almost. I'm sorry? Teacher, almost the hair moves. <laughs> Don't worry. The hair it, it doesn't matter because tomorrow <laughs> and the next day, you can go over all the exercises again. Okay? The more you practice, the better you get. All right? So, okay. it's okay. Now, very okay. good. What I want you is to go to the next link, the, the next uh, the next group, okay? Now, do you have any, any questions about this exercise? Very easy. Very easy, right? Yes. Okay, very good. Now, plural form, singular meaning nouns. Okay, volunteer to read, uh, Oman? Some nouns are... Some nouns are regularly no, so so plural in form, but singular in meaning. Okay, for example, when you say the news is always singular. The news is on right now, not the news are. The news is. The news have. Okay, missiles. You know what is the meaning of missiles? Sarampion. No, no. Sarampion. Even though this is plural, ah, is singular meaning. In mumps. Do you know what are mumps? No. No. When, when here you become really big. Papera. Ah, papera. Okay, so these are these are singular meaning. They have singular meaning, even though they have plural form. In form. But the meaning is singular. Is that clear? Yes. Take a look. Yes. Okay. Uh, go ahead, uh, Alicia. Read. Even though. Okay. Even though these nouns appear to be plural because they end in s, they actually refer to only one thing made up of smaller, uncounted parts. Therefore, they are considered singular. Singular. Example: The news looks good today okay generally 
Missiles last about two weeks. Sarampión dura cerca de dos semanas. Okay? Very mm -hmm. good. Now, we have more. Example, mathematics. Politics. Politics no es políticos. Those are politicians. Politics okay. es política. Is that clear? Politics. Yes, yes. Athletics no son atléticos. Es atleticismo. En economics. Ah, okay. Economía. Is that clear? Economics mm -hmm. means economy. Yes. Okay. So look, mathematics okay. is my favorite subject. Politics has made people do strange things like corruption. <laughs> is that clear? <laughs> <here? laughs> yeah. Okay, very good. I don't good. know about that. Now, note, note, read the note, Blanca. Blanca, Blanca. Hello. Occasionally. Um, no, occasionally, however, the ICS ICS nouns can have a plural meaning. We can speak about individual parts of these walls. Holes. 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 In this case, we apply the same rule as, 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 as applies to group nouns when we consider the individual members within the group see uh, we use a plural verbs now okay now they are considered singular but if they have a meaning of plural then we use it as plural is that clear example mm -hmm. statistics is offered now the here is talking about estadística Mm -hmm. Now, the estadistic, las estadísticas, because he, in this case is plural. Do you understand? Okay. Yes. Estadistic is el, the science, la ciencia, estadística. Mm -hmm. Here mm -hmm. we're talking about the numbers. The estadistic shows, okay. so plural, show that the candidate will win. Okay, ready for exercise number four? <laughs> yeah. Okay, go uh, and link it, please. And I will separate it right now. Okay. Okay. Let me get this real quick. Okay, different, different groups. Okay, same six groups. Recrear. Okay, go ahead, join your groups, please. And do exercise number four, please. Bessie, Bessie, join. Rafael, join. Group number two. Very good. Bessie, no ha entrado. Bessie is eh, Madeline. Hello. Okay. So exercise number four. Did you do exercise number uh, four? Teacher. Go to it's the, the link. Science. Ah, okay. Very it's good. Basic the science. Uh huh. So that economics is being taught this semester. Okay, because he's talking about the subject. He's not talking about our economies. He's talking about the subject economies. Very good economics. Now, number two. Okay. Okay, yes. Unfortunately, this unfortunately, unfortunately, I think is was used to be. Was. This honest was. was used to win the election. Very good, very good. Number oh, three, Ginny V. If you insist. Athletics. Athletics. <laughs> Provide important opportunities for physical development. Uh -huh. Athletics provides. 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 Uh -huh. Very good. Number four, Raul. 
the good news usually um, travel fast. Uh -huh. Good news usually travels fast. Very good. Uh, gather number five. Because of the mood in the Senate is a statistic um, complete quickly for the report. Uh -huh. The subject statistic is was because mm, of the mood in the Senate statistics was, was compiled was quickly for the report. Comply quickly for the report. Okay, very good. Now let's go to part number two. Okay, number six, Nineveh. Uh, now you have to decide whether it's correct or incorrect the sentence, okay? For some time. Okay. For some time now, civic has been a required course in the curriculum. Is correct or mm. incorrect? Correct. No, it's not correct because civics is As. what we call in Spanish civica. Okay, so for uh, some time, civica has been has, has uh, been required. Ceramics. Has been a required okay. course in the curriculum. Okay, very good. Who is next, uh, Raúl? Well, I think it's ceramics take a great deal of practice for proficiency. proficiency. Yeah. Now, is this correct or incorrect? It's incorrect because take uh, takes and is take. No, but here ceramics. Ceramics refers to the art, la ceramica. So yeah, ceramics yes. takes a great deal of practice for proficiency. It's take. It's, it's take, it's correct. So this one is correct. Ceramics, it okay. takes. Because it's talking about the art, the arts of ceramics. Is that clear? Hello? Okay. Yes? Yes. Okay, number eight. Uh, Indeed. Per, right? Gather. Ah, gather, gather. Yeah. In this particular situation, the economic are hard to determine. Is to correct. Determine. Uh -huh. To determine. Mm -hmm. Is correct. Economics. No. In this particular situation, the economics is hard to it's determine. Hard to because determine. it's talking about the subject. Be no, hard. my okay. economy and your economy is talking about the subject. It's economy. the science. Uh -huh, the science. That's correct. Okay. Anyway, number nine. Because of constantly changing public opinion. Oh. Uh -huh. I don't understand, teacher. <laughs> because, uh -huh. okay, look, because of constantly changing public opinion, politics offer. Now, a challenging career to both men and women. Now, here is talking about the science. Política, no los políticos. Ok. Politicians es políticos. So here is talking about the science. Politics. Is singular. Is singular. So it no. would be of. offers. Offers. Offers a challenging career to both men and women. Are we clear, Nineveh? Because here this refers to the science of polit politics, Moms. okay? So it's singular. So it's the verb simple. must have an S. And the last one. Uh, indeed, I think it's, mumps is a painful illness. I think it's correct. It's correct because mumps is singular, okay? Very good. Yes. Excellent. What is mom? Okay, very good. What is the meaning of mumps? Mumps, paperas, mumps. Uh-huh, mumps. Okay, very good. Now, let me get Thanks. back. Let me okay, get back to you. the groups, okay? Okay, guys, do you have any questions? Do you have any questions about this one? That you, uh, that you want me to review with you? 
Yes, teacher. Which the, one? The all about the old word with with final is with C and S is I see singular. S. Yes. C uh, depends. Singular. Depends because some of them mean plural. For example, when I say the economics, the economics is the subject. But when I say subject, the economies yes. of my of this city, okay, so that is plural. Oh, okay. okay. But, but for example, when you say statistics, when you're talking about yes. it's the same word, but a statistic yes. is the subject, the, the science, subject. okay? But when you say the statistics that are uh, okay. uh -huh. in this case, we're talking about the numbers, mm -hmm. okay. not the science. So you mm -hmm. have to be careful. You have okay. to understand if it is the science or if it is the numbers, what you're talking about. Okay, more questions? The okay. numbers, teacher, the number, is, it should be plural. 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 Okay, thank, thank you. Okay, like for example, miren como están estas estadísticas. Okay, so that is plural. But when I refer, eh, la estadística es la ciencia que estudia, eh, okay, so that is the subject. Okay? Okay, very good. Let me, let me check list again. Jader? Okay. okay. Yather, okay. present. <laughs> Blanca Estela. Present, teacher. Very good. Uh, Maria Eugenia. Present. Thank you. Betsy. Present. Thank you. Oscar Eduardo. Present. Very good. Raul Mauricio. Raul present. Mauricio Rivera. Present. Okay, very good. Ninive. Present. Okay, very good. Marta Beatriz Alegría. Present. Okay, very good. Eh, Álvaro Enrique Rivas Ángel. Álvaro. Present. Ah, thank Present. You. Thank you. Rafael René Molina. Present, sir. Thank you. Victor Mike. Okay, yeah. María Adelina. Hi. She's out for a moment, huh? Okay, Alicia Carolina Lopez. Present teacher. Thank you. Carmen, ah no, eh, Osman Enrique Hernandez. Present teacher. Thank you. Cecilia Yamilet. Absent. Daniel Osvaldo Perez Aguilar. Okay. Eh, Verónica Beatriz. Present. Very good. Ana del Carmen de Núñez. Very good. Andrea Alexandra. Kenya. And Vanessa. Present. Okay, very good. Now, I want you to study more, to study more the rest of the link. Okay, remember? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, study the rest and do the exercises. And do the other links that I gave you. Now, I want you okay. to go to the book. Can you see the book right now? On the screen? Yes? yes? Uh, no. No. Oh. No? no. Okay, no, in a minute. Can... Yes or no? No. no? no. Okay, let me share the screen then. Okay? So, what I have is right here. Okay? Now. Can you see the book now? Yes. Remember yes. the yes. conversation that we yes. practiced yesterday? Yes. Yes. Okay, yes. now, the words in yes. bold, the words in bold are about complex subjects. One of the good things, one of the good things is singular or plural? Is singular. Is singular because he's talking about one, only one. Wow. I like about working, that's why they use yes. is. Uh, yeah. Is that clear? That's why they yes. use is. Because yes, one, yes. one, one, singular. One of they the use is. Thing. yeah. Now here, the Air Force, is singular or plural? Plural. 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 That's why they plural. use R right here. R. Okay? Now here, some difficult R. decisions, is singular or plural? Plural. 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 See why the verse takes plural. 
right? Okay. Now, one of the most important factors is singular or plural? Singular. Singular. That's why they use singular here. Is that okay. Okay. Yes. Very yeah. good. Now, I want you to come yes. over here to page eight, to page, page 18. Page 18. Okay. Page 18, so how to achieve their agreement with complex subjects. Look at the examples in the box, then complete the exercises below. Subjects that are preceded by expressions of quantity are called complex subjects, the cases that we have studied. They take either a singular or a plural verb form depending on the number singular or plural of the quality of the quantifier examples the first is singular or plural the singular. first of the decisions singular. Singular or plural. Singular. is singular, singular right because singular. it's talking about only one so you see huh. they use a singular form on the verb right now yeah. number two okay here the first refers to one of the decisions. So okay. the verb must be in singular form. As. Okay. Mm -hmm. One of the good things is only one, singular. Oh. I like about working with you all is the effort you make to do the, the job right. So here okay. one is a single of various good things. So the verb must also be singular. Singular. Okay. Very good. Now, some difficult decisions to make in relation to fancy material are about the cost and quality. So here, some refers to more than one difficult decision. So it's plural. So the verb must be plural, are, in this case. Okay? okay. Then, a majority in a number so is this singular or plural? Plural. Plural. Take a plural verb when they are used with plural nouns. Okay. Majority of product developers, can you see with plural? Yes. Okay, now a majority can also be used with non-count nouns. When that mm -hmm. happens, okay, you use it with, let me show you. You use it with is right here in the example right here. Hold on, don't panic. <laughs> okay, here we go. I need to put this over here so I can show. I can show you here. Okay, now I'm gonna put this back here. Note the quantifier. Can you see it right here? Mm -hmm. Yes. The quantifier, a majority of, can also be used with singular count nouns that include more than one person. Use a third person singular verb. A majority of the class. So here is talking about the class, singular. Mm -hmm. So singular. Mm -hmm. Okay, now a majority of the population. So here mm -hmm. is talking about plural, plural right? So. Yes prefers casual clothes. I'm sorry, singular. So mm -hmm. it refers, it prefers. So that mm -hmm. is singular, the very singular. Because they are non-count, non-count nouns. Okay? Okay. So they take singular. But if you use a majority with plural count nouns, then they take, they may agree the verb with plural form. Okay? Okay. Be careful. So let's go back. Do these exercises, please. Do you have the book with you? Yes. Okay. Yes. Read the statements below and choose the verb form that agrees with the subject. Now we are going to do this all together. Okay. All okay. the class together. Okay. 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 Now, number one, volunteer. Nineve, if you insist. Mm -hmm. um, where, where, where? 
Uh -huh. Number one, some of the participants, we are right here. Uh, can you see the board? No. No? Oh, I'm sorry. No. Okay, wait. No, no problem. No problem. In a minute. Okay. Okay, let me see. Here we go. There you go. Now, can you see the, the screen? Yes. 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 So, number one, Nineve. Some of the participants in the testing group have, has, uh -huh. not Which arrived have yet. or has? Is the subject singular or plural? Singular. No, Thanks. some of Singular. the participants. Plural. 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 Plural, plural, right? When you use have. So we have oh. to use have, right? Uh -huh. Have. Okay, okay. okay. complete it, complete it, Nineveh. Uh -oh. Complete the sentence, Nineveh. Uh -huh. Some, of the, some of the participants in the testing group it's have not arrived yet. Hey, very good, excellent. Sorry. Okay, who is next? Osman. Number two. One of the factors to decide on the best type of the test is the characteristics of the product itself. Okay, now can you see? Is why? Because the subject is singular. One, one of the factors. Okay, Alicia, number three. Number mm -hmm. A number of customers are satisfied with the performance of the new map. Of the new map, very good. So a number of customers, can you yeah. see that is it's plural, plural, right? Yes. R, yeah. R, very good. R. Very good. Raul, number four. Yes. The first of the suggestion I want to implement. implement. Mm, the of the questions I want to implement are the design of the level. No, the, is our, is the design of the level. Exactly, because it says the first, right? So it's singular. Yes. The first of the suggestion I want to implement is very good. Okay, Veronica, number five. A majority of testers have uh, have pointed out the need to make our product lighter. Okay, very good, very good. A majority of testers have pointed out. Very good, because it's plural, right? Okay, very good. The next one, I need a volunteer who hasn't participated. Beatriz, Me. if you insist. Okay. A number of comments suggested that the fran fragrance of the candle is the best characteristic. Characteristic. Now, a number of comments suggest or suggest? Mm -hmm. Plural. It's plural, right? A number of comments, but not one comment, many comments. It's many suggest. comments. So, yeah, yes. that, this is yes. correct. Okay, very good. Okay, very good, guys. Do you have any questions? Now, listen, you can go to this quiz and take the quiz too. These two are about subject agreement, okay? And tomorrow I will send you an email with all, with all the links that we're gonna use in this unit, okay? And the vocabulary. Yes, yes, please. Okay? Yes. And remember, you can use the link that I sent today in the chat so you can do the other exercises, okay? Okay. Do you have any questions? Okay, no, no, okay I sure. need to talk to Marta Beatriz, Alvaro, and Ana del Carmen. The rest, bye-bye. Thank you very much. Bye. 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 Good, night. Good, night. Good, night. Good night, everybody. Good night, Good night. Good night. Good night. See you Good night everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Beatriz, Alvaro, and Ana. Okay, Beatriz, are you there, Beatriz? Yes, yes I'm here. Beatriz, what happened yesterday that you couldn't? She's not here. Marta, um, Beatriz, como no? Yes, yesterday I I was in the work in my ah, job. Working, okay, working late. Yeah, okay, I'm working very good. Late. Very okay, working. 
And Ana Nunez. I forgot. Ah, you forgot. Don't forget, oh, please. Okay. Yeah. Don't forget. And Alvaro was working too, right? Yes, I was working. Okay, very good, guys. So have a very good night, and I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Thank you so much, teacher. Right, take care. Okay. You welcome. You welcome. Bye, Bravo, Mike. Bye. Okay. Bye, Alfaeco. Bye, bye. Bye.